hey what is up guys so i figured with the release of the 2.6 update there might be a good amount of new players getting into star citizen for the first time especially given all the new content that's been added and seeing as how a lot of the controls were changed around to fit the new flight model and fps module i thought doing a quick walkthrough of them would be pretty helpful to both new players and even people like myself who have been playing the game for quite a while now so for starters, we'll be taking a look at the on-foot controls, as well as the EVA controls. And then from there, we'll move on to all of the flight controls in the second part of the video. As for the on-foot controls, they are fairly straightforward. It's going to be W, A, S, and D to move around. Pressing shift is going to allow you to sprint. And if you want to walk around at a somewhat normal pace, that's going to be done by pressing B. And for those of you who maybe want to do a bit of sneaking around, you can crouch by pressing the left control. And to go prone, all you need to do is press X. From here, if you want to roll around, you can do that by pressing Q and E. And that's going to allow you to look behind you. Keep in mind, you can also do this with a weapon in hand as well. Now, in terms of the interaction with not only items around you, but also menus as well, you can press escape to go back to the main menu or to exit the game entirely. And then if you want to chat with players in your session, that can be done by pressing F12 to bring up the chat menu and by pressing enter. You can actually type stuff in and press it again to submit whatever you've said. If you want to see your friends and who's online, that can be done by pressing F11. Now, if you just try and interact with this as is, you'll notice you won't be able to. So in order to bring up the UI cursor, you'll need to press modifier 2 along with forward slash. Now, for those who are new to the game and don't know what the modifier keys are, Basically, modifier 1 is the ALT key on the left side of the spacebar. And then modifier 2 is going to be the ALT key on the right side of the spacebar. So once again, by pressing modifier 2 and forward slash, we can bring up the UI cursor and then interact with this menu. If you want to check out what kind of missions are available or just see how much currency you have, you can do that by pressing F1 to bring up the Moby Glass, which is pretty much the in-game inventory. Although at the moment, not a whole lot of stuff on here is accessible. But one of the key things you want to be able to know how to use is the mission scheduler, which is this big green one right here. And you can select that with the left mouse button. And over here is your list of available missions. And to select one, just click inside the little hexagon. Pressing F1 again will close the menu entirely. And if you bring it back up and just want to go back to the main interface, you can just press backspace to do that. And F1 again to close it. By the way, the F key is going to be the main one you'll use to interact with things like terminals or open doors, and even get inside your spaceship. You can also use the F key to buy things like weapons and clothing, which sort of feeds into our next segment involving the combat mechanics. Just keep in mind you can only do combat in areas outside of Port Alazar. A few other things you might find fairly useful are that you can turn on your flashlight by using T, and you can also go into third person by pressing F4. As for combat, pressing 1 is going to bring out your sidearm, 2 is going to be your primary rifle, and then 3 will be your secondary, if you have one. 4 is going to be your grenades, and if you want to throw those, you can look up to throw overhand by pressing G, or look down to roll the grenade by pressing G. By the way, if you want to reload, you can do that by pressing R. And to holster the weapon, you do that by holding R. And keep in mind, for some weapons, pressing C will change the firing mode. 
Last but not least, holding V will allow you to heal if you have a medical syringe. And if you aim down sights and hold shift, you'll be able to hold your breath. And finally, pressing your left mouse button will fire your weapon. Now, finally moving on to EVA. It's pretty simple. Basically, everything is the same as the on foot controls. However, keep in mind that pressing E or Q is going to allow you to roll. And you can also strafe up by using spacebar and then strafe down by holding control. W and S are going to move you forward and backwards. And if you want a bit of a boost, you can achieve that by holding shift. Also, if you find yourself at a place like Security Post Korea and are done fighting and just want to make it back to Port Alazar or Grim Hex if you're an outlaw fairly quickly, you can press modifier 2 and backspace at the same time. By the way, make sure you hold them down. Doing that will allow you to pretty much commit suicide and then respawn. So now that we have all of the on foot controls and EVA controls out of the way, what we can do now is check out all of the flight mechanics. Now most of these are fairly simple and straightforward. However, there are some that are maybe a bit more unlikely for you to use. So we'll save those for a bit later on in the video. But once again, it's going to be F to enter your ship. And some ships are going to have a standard cockpit like this one that you can just go straight into. And others may have a series of doors that you have to pass through first. But anyways, now that we're in here, what we'll need to do to actually take off is hold down the space bar to strafe up. And then if you want to go back down, you can hold control to strafe down. And if you want to fly around at faster speeds, you'll need to raise your landing gear by pressing N. And once that's been raised, you can move forward or throttle up by pressing W. And if you want to slow down or throttle down, that's going to be done by holding S. And I really want to point out that once again, this is a throttle. So by no means should you always be holding down W and flying at 100%. Personally, I think that's a really bad habit to get into. So once again, just use it as a throttle get to the speed you want and then release it so that way you can even have more control over a lot of the other keys which will allow you to do things like roll or strafe. Speaking of strafing and rolling, rolling right is going to be done by pressing E and then to roll left just press Q. Now to strafe right that's going to be done by holding D and strafing left will be by holding A. If you want to strafe forwards or backwards, you'll need to hold the modifier 1 key, which once again is the alt on the left side of the space bar with either W to strafe forward or S to strafe backwards. And releasing this will just bring you back to whatever speed you were at before. To strafe up, that's going to be done by holding space bar and then to strafe down just hold control. Now before we go check out some of the combat mechanics, what I'm going to do is show you how to land your ship and also quantum travel. So to do that, just go ahead and press B, find a destination you want to head to, and then press F to travel there. So before we really get into how to land, I just want to show some of the newer players what to do if they're about to crash into something. Of course, you could always just try steering out of the way, but say if you're really close, what you can do is activate your space brake. And to do that, you can use the boost key, which is X, and then press S to slow your ship down. And that'll make for a much speedier stop than it would have been had you just used the throttle down key. This also works the other way around as well. So if you want to accelerate really quickly, what you can do is throttle up and at the same time, use your boost by pressing X. 
Now at the moment you'll notice my top speed is set to 145. So if I wanted to head all the way to that planet over there without quantum traveling, there's a much faster way to do so than just traveling at this speed. And that's going to be done with the afterburner. And to use that, just hold down shift. And keep in mind, if you release that key, you'll stay at the speed. So this is pretty much the new cruise mode. Also, before we go ahead and land, you might find it useful that you can immediately set your throttle to 100 or 0 by pressing backspace. And if you want to enter decoupled mode, which allows you to spin freely, even while your thrusters are going, you can do that by pressing C. And now finally, moving on to how to land. What you'll want to do is find a set of landing pads, head towards them at a reasonable speed, and then to bring down your landing gear, go ahead and press N. Once that's done, find the pad you want and head towards it. At this point, you can either choose to manually land by using your strafing mechanics. However, if you want to automatically land, go ahead and fly through the center line until it gives you the OK. And at this point, you can hold it in to initiate the automatic landing, which is usually quite a bit more smooth. And so now that we've got most of the basic maneuvers covered, what we'll go ahead and do now is cover the combat mechanics. So first off, if you want to maybe engage in some of the more daring maneuvers, you may want to press the V to toggle off G-Safe. Now keep in mind, this may make flying a bit easier, but it's also going to make blacking out that much more common. So if you don't want that to be the case, go ahead and toggle it off by pressing V again. Moving on, if you want to target whichever ship is in your reticle or whichever ship you're looking at, you can do that by pressing R, and this can be done on hostiles or friendlies as well. If you just want to target the nearest hostile, you can do that by pressing T, and then Y and H will cycle through all of the hostiles within range, U and J will cycle all friendlies, and then I and K will cycle all ships within the area. You could say there are enough groups as is, but if you really want to make your own custom one, you can do that by pinning targets. So to pin a target, just make sure you focus on them using any of the previous methods. And then once that's done, you can press P to pin them. You can also pin as many targets as you want. And I think what this would be most useful for is making a completely separate group of just your friends. Now, say you're tailing an enemy or a friend and maybe want to travel at the same speed that they are, what you can do is press M, and that'll go ahead and match your speed to theirs. And then if you really want to blow them up, left mouse button is going to be weapon group 1, and then right mouse button will be your weapon group 2. From what I can tell, you can also have a third weapon group as well. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in just a moment. But first of all, if you're looking to lock a missile on an enemy, what you can do is press down your scroll wheel on the mouse button. You can also do this multiple times, and then if you want to actually fire them, go ahead and hold down the scroll wheel to do so. With that covered though, you may be wondering what if someone's locked a missile on you? Well, in order to counter that, you can go ahead and launch a flare by holding G. And if you would rather use a chaff, you can just switch to that by pressing G and holding G to launch that. You'll notice at the moment, I can pretty much move my reticle around as freely as I want, which is all good and dandy considering all of my weapons are gimbaled. But say for instance, if you have all fixed weapons, what you may want to do is deactivate gimbaled mode, and to do that, you'll press modifier 2 and J. Once again, modifier 2 is the alt on the right side of the spacebar, and after you press that, you'll notice that your weapons just fire straight ahead instead of wherever your reticle is pointing. That pretty much sums up all of the basic flight and combat controls. However, there still are a few other things regarding the ship's power, 
and HUD that I think might be pretty useful to go over really quickly. So in terms of those, at the moment you can see in the upper left, there's a little icon with our ship and then the shields around it. So to kind of change those around and increase or decrease some of their power, on the number pad four, eight, six, and two is gonna be the left, front, right, and back shields. Pressing seven will increase the shields on the top. Eight's gonna be the shields on the bottom. And then if you wanna reset all of those, just go ahead and double tap five. Also, if you wanna increase your weapons power and decrease pretty much everything else, you can hold down one. Holding down two will increase the shield's power, once again, decreasing everything else. And then three is gonna be increasing the avionic power. And if you wanna reset all of those, you can do so by pressing zero. And lastly, if you wanna turn off your weapons, you can do so by pressing four. Five will turn off your shields. And then six is gonna turn off your engines. And you will need to press all of those again if you want to turn them back on. Also, one final thing regarding the ship's power would be its lights. So if you want to turn these off and on, what you'll need to do is hold down the modifier 1 key along with T. And as you can see, that'll shut those off. And then once you release those keys, it'll bring them back on. Oh, and I guess one more thing I should probably make clear is that you can use the chat menu and other menus like the Moby Glass in your ship as well. And if you want to just kind of look around freely, you can do that by holding Z to do it temporarily or by pressing Z to do it permanently and then press it again to deactivate it. But anyways guys, that just about wraps things up for today. So thanks for watching, hopefully you did end up finding the video helpful. Feel free to let me know what you thought down in the comments. And as always, I will see you in the next one.